Once upon a time, there was a story told to English students about the rise of the novel. The novel emerged from the romance genre, which had been popular in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. But romance tended to use fantastic elements, like magic and mythology. The novel was a genre that championed literary realism, in which what George Eliot calls a humble and faithful study of nature represented a definite, substantial reality. But this was often the reality of the Victorian English upper classes. By the start of the 20th century, the modernists had to remake the novel to reflect different kinds of reality. The novel as we know it has become a flexible and varied literary form. But the rise of the novel is just a story, and every story can be told more than one way. We want to look again at what happened to romance. In the Middle Ages and Renaissance, romances could come in the form of poetry, prose or drama. They were distinctive in the ways that they used narrative rather than description as a way of showing character and developing themes. But most of all, they were known for their non-realist techniques. Magic featured in their plots and mythologies in their characters. We can trace this non-realist tradition of narrative from the 14th century stories of King Arthur through Shakespeare's late plays and from 19th century Gothic through the high fantasies of Tolkien to the genre twisting of contemporary literary fiction. In EN3RF, Romance to Fantasy, we follow the path of the non-realist tradition of English fiction from the Middle Ages to the present. We're not sure what we will conclude at the end of the journey, but then not all those who wander are lost.